So let's turn this over and we'll take a look from the back here. We'll try and get it all centered up here. Uh, the first thing they did was print the black for each color plate. They printed the black, printed it, printed it in black, and then they printed it in the color. And they assembled the book in this way. The next one we have is we have our red plate, and then we had our printed it in, in the actual color. And then we have our progressive. This is the yellow and the red plate combined. And this is so the printer could see how everything would interact see what needed to be altered in the imagery. In this book there are uh, corrections that were made to some of these uh, plates after the uh, after the initial run here. So we have the brown, the light brown plate, and we have the progression from the yellow, the red, and the, uh, the brown. And it goes on like that all the way through the book up until we get to the finished image. Now this here this dark brown stone has a correction. In this case, it's the title. So we added, uh, they added the title at the top of the page here, and then they've got it marked as the corrected stone. You can tell that these were done after the initial proof run because these are pasted in here. So then we go, and these are really fascinating. They've got all the printer's notes the job number, the numbers of the, uh, the the color of the stone. I'm assuming that's the color, the, the number that was given to the stone for this job, that dark brown stone. You have the key number for the key plate. And there's a correction here on this one. This is the buff plate. They had to take this out for one reason or another. So that's absent from this corrected plate. This would be the image that would be used on the original. It would be reflected in the, uh, or in the uh, finished product. And we go through, we're up to the buff. And then we go to, this one here was corrected. They took some of this material out. There's the corrected stone, the corrected plate, the light blue. It's kind of interesting. It's got the size of the stone on there, the 10 by 16. Like I said earlier, they used these smaller stones that they actually executed the artwork on to. And then transfers were taken from those. And then we're up to the light blue, the composite image. The dark blue. And then we're getting to the gold. And then the gold... Uh, gilding. And uh, there's the gold plate. I, I think that needed correction also. The other thing these books, some of these books contain, a real full book, is the whole set of labels, the whole uh, imagery for the set. So you can see here this is for the, um, the outer label. And then here's the gold plate for the outer label. They use the same uh, image as the front, there's the inner label, and then they cut out, cut it out around it. Uh, another corrected stone, this is for the pink. See what kind of correction they made on that. They took some of that material out of there. Very fascinating, very old books, and we're all the way up to the front. And we corrected lake, medium red. And the last one added is the gray. It kind of pulls it together, pulls the image together. Um, the way the color works on these, the principle at work is that the we have transparent colors and we have opaque colors. The red is uh, fairly opaque and in order to create some of these other colors like this yellow or this uh, green in here you'd have the light blue printed over the yellow. It's like a, a watercolor glaze where the color underneath shows up through the color that's laid on top of it. Um, they use stippling, which 
a little fine series of dots to create these gradations. Um, they also use something called a Ben Day machine, which is something I've been trying to track information down on. Uh, uh, used to uh, lay in these large patches of uh, gradations. The, uh, but they're, they're really fascinating. This, the interesting thing about this, this image here, um, this is unique in that this is the prototype image here. This is, does not reflect what was actually used or what was actually produced. This has got, this doesn't reflect the changes here, so this proof right here in the front is very unique. Some of these books, uh, I haven't found the image for this one, uh, the actual finished label. Some of these proof books are the sole um, example of that image. They, for whatever reason, didn't make it into production. Uh, they may have made it out as samples, but never purchased. Um, so they're very unique, very interesting peek into the whole process. And uh, I thank you for listening, and I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, and uh, thank you very much.